Hello everybody, this is Tom and I'm here to show you a project I'm working on. I'm making me a King Cobra and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how all this stuff, all these scales and the color on the belly and everything went on. But first before I show you that, I want to show you how I made these scales. Um, this is actually a different way than the last time I showed you so it's it's quite interesting. It's, very 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 simple first I mixed me some colors and then I cut them out into scales but to do that I used this clean out tool I made a few videos back it's it's super easy it's like using a cookie cutter I just stamp the clay and then I remove the piece from the um, tool you know very carefully see and then I um, I continue to cut along a fresh clean edge of uh, clay that I rolled out to setting three on the pasta machine then cut the scrap away and just repeat pretty simple uh, faster than the last way I was making scales I kinda liked it um, when I decided to do this in colored clay this Cobra I, I basically just made it to where it's gonna take forever it's it's a lot more of a challenge using colored clay than just to sculpt straight from the actual original or super sculpy. But I'm um, putting the I'm I'm separating the the belly from the rest of the sculpture by adding this tan. This is original tan from Sculpey Three. It went on pretty easily, and everything. I put these two brown strips on the sides of the tan belly uh, to keep the scales from standing out too badly or at least to keep the super sculpy that pink um, from like shining through and it'll make the scales kind of blend in towards the edge there a lot better and now it's time for the awesome part this unique time lapse that I do and what I mean by unique is each individual scale is an actual scene that I cut out of the videos that I recorded and I just you know put them all together and then mixed it down again so as you can see there was a lot of little pieces of film it took to do this when installing these scales I alternated my rows starting from the left and then starting from the right this was to break everything up a little bit and keep it um, pretty uniform. I was trying to keep it very uniform. The first few rows were a little bit too tight because they were ex exactly a quarter inch apart. So what I did is I kind of put a few down like temporarily to map it out. It's uh, where I just laid out a few to to um, see if I can stretch the rows apart a little bit you can see it right there coming up what I wound up doing was adding an eighth of an inch so it's really five eighths of an inch apart and you see me use my ruler to make a mark I just I make a stool storyboard and I uh, make a mark for wherever all the scales go all, all the way across and then I put the tip of the next scale on the mark I made pretty easy I have another video I'll I'll leave a link in the down bar showing uh, alt alternatives to like I think I have a video where I'm going a lot slower and everything these are half the size of the original scales I made for the for the larger King Cobra and being that they're smaller it's probably just as many as on that snake if not, if not more there's a lot and I have a lot yet to go. Um, I'm out of clay. I'm out of brown anyways. I gotta go pick up some more brown. So I'm gonna shelf this project for a little bit. Uh, not too long. I wanna be able to do some other things for y'all. And uh, just looking forward to seeing what y'all think about this and 
you know, any kind of comments or feedback y'all want to give, that would be, I appreciate it. I uh, really appreciate y'all for watching this. Thank you very much.